Hello, and welcome to part two of getting started with the web report designer. In the first part, we created a simple report that shows product sales by category. Now we'll continue by adding a common business requirement to click a data series to show more details on a second report, also known as drill through reporting. The input data will once again be the volume of sales obtained via a remote web service. But this time, we'll group the data by subcategory and display it in a pie chart. I'll show you how to share the same data source between two reports and how to configure the drill through from the parent report to the detail report. Let's get started. Let's start by creating our second report, sales by subcategory. I'll use the new menu and select new report. We'll name it sales by subcategory and save it in the same folder as our first report. We'll remove the page header and footer sections again by selecting them and pressing the delete key. Now using the search bar, I'll locate and add a report header. Increase the size slightly. Now we can duplicate the header from the first report. We'll do that by copying the picture box logo and the title from the first report. We can select both items and use the context menu to copy them. After returning to the details report, we can select the report header and again use the context menu to paste the report items. Now we just need to adjust the position. Next, we'll add a report parameter that will receive the category from the parent report. This parameter will be used to filter the data received from the web service data source. We'll search for report parameters using the search bar. And add a new parameter to the collection. And enter the required properties. I'll name it category and use the same name for the text label. We'll add a default value of bikes, since we know that category exists. And we'll make the parameter visible in the user interface. Click Save. Now we'll update the title dynamically using the new report parameter. Select the text box and open the expression editor for the value field. You can simply double click the category value property under report parameters and update the expression by concatenating a string at the end of the value. We'll save and preview the report. You can see the rendering engine is using the category value to evaluate the expression when generating the text box content. Now, we're using the same data source in this report that we fetched in our first report using the web service data source. But I don't want to duplicate that data source in my new report. Instead, I will convert it into a shared data source. Shared data sources are stored in the application's assets, and like any asset in the assets manager, they can be reused in any report. I'll navigate to the first report, find the web service data source, and select Save as Shared Data Source from its context menu. I'll name it Product Sales Data and check the box to replace the data source in the current report. This way, both reports will use the shared data source from the Assets Manager. Click Save, and you'll notice that the inline data source is gone, but a new shared data source was created. Now we can use the shared data source in our details report. I'll navigate back to sales by subcategory. I can click the context menu of the shared data source and select add existing data source. Then select product sales data from the assets manager. Click save and you'll notice that the shared data source is updated. We can now use this data to create a pie chart. Before creating the pie chart, I'll resize the details section a bit. 
Now I can search for pie chart to bring up the pie chart wizard. Select the data source. Now, we want the pie chart slices to be created from the product subcategories. Since the pie slices are made from the series collection, I'll drag product subcategory into the series box. The values of each pie slice will be the sum of the line totals. So I'll drag the line total into the values box. Click Create. Here, you'll see a pie chart that contains all the data from the data source. But we want to only see the data for a specific category. So we'll add a rule to filter the data based on the value in the report parameter we created earlier. I'll search for the filters collection and add a new filter. The filter works by setting an expression, operator, and value. The expression is the product category. The operator is equals, and the value is the current value of the report parameter. Since the report parameter has a default value of bikes, we'll immediately see the pie chart update for the bikes category. Now we can format the pie chart. I'll update the title and make it not visible. I'll also update the series to make it easier to read by adding data point label connectors. Just set the data point label connector style visible property to true. Update the label offset. This is the distance between the label and the pie slice. And use the outside column option for data point label alignment. Click save and we'll see a live preview. Finally, we'll connect the reports together by using a drill through action. Let's go back to the first report. The basic requirement is that a user should be able to click on a column chart series representing a category and drill through to a second report, passing the category value as a report parameter. Since the product categories are generated from the category groups, I'll add a navigate to report action to the chart category group. Search for category group, add a navigate to report action. The report source is a URI report source, and we can set that URI using the assets manager. Lastly, I'll set the parameter value we want to pass into the report. The parameter name is the report parameter name property from the report the value is being passed into. We named it category. And the value is the value of the current product category field. We should be done. Let's test the report now. If I click bikes, it should load a detail report for the bikes category. We can navigate back to the first report and click Accessories. It loads the details report for accessories. Thank you. This concludes part two of getting started with the web report designer.